Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. Take it easy. This is not the Eagles' final tour, says Joe Walsh, despite announcement the legendary band will call it quits and they will keep playing until nobody comes. An upcoming Eagles tour that was originally said to be their final one will not in fact be their last, band member Joe Walsh has said. The band's guitarist backtracked on initial claims the long goodbye would be the Eagles' last tour, saying it will actually likely be their next to the last tour and that they will keep playing until nobody comes. Walsh's comments came during an event in L.A. on July 7 celebrating Ringo Starr turning 83, and just a day after the final tour had been announced. The quintessentially 1970s band is behind rock hits like Hotel California and Life in the Fast Lane. In a statement, the Eagles did suggest tour was likely to overrun and that they would perform as many shows in each market as their audience demands. Ringo's annual Peace and Love birthday celebration was hosted in Beverly Hills Garden Park and attended by various rock legends, including Triple X. Walsh is Ringo's brother-in-law and a longtime friend of the drummer. Ringo attended his birthday party alongside his American actress wife Barbara Bach, 75. The couple were joined by Barbara's sister, Marjorie Bach, and her husband, who is Walsh. During the event Walsh and Ringo both addressed approaching the end of their respective careers. I think it's probably the next to the last tour, said Walsh. We're going to play until nobody comes. And then I guess we're done. Ringo at that point joked that perhaps the Eagles' final tour might end up looking a little like Elton John's, which famously stretched on. It began in September 2018 and only drew to a close late last month. They'll probably be like, Elton, it'd take three or four years to get to that last week, said Ringo. The tour will feature Walsh, Don Henley, Timothy B. Schmidt, Vince Gill, and Deacon Fry, who is the son of the late Glenn Fry, one of the founding members of the band, and open at Madison Square Garden on September 7. Ringo was also asked how he remains fit at the age of 83, to which he responded, I exercise, and diet, and my overall health is good. It is really all about and comes down to promoting peace and love. And that is how it works, and it is still working out for me today. The Eagles announced the long goodbye tour on July 6. Our long run has lasted far longer than any of us ever dreamed. But, everything has its time, and the time has come for us to close the circle. The official farewell tour is currently in the planning stages, the band said in a statement. The band announced 13 tour dates, with Steely Dan opening for them. The Eagles have had a miraculous 52-year odyssey, performing for people all over the globe, keeping the music alive in the face of tragic losses, upheavals, and setbacks of many kinds, the statement continued. They concluded the message by thanking their management team, road crew, and backup musicians. The Eagles started out as the backing band for singer Linda Ronstadt in 1971 and became one of the most successful American rock bands of the 1970s. Founded by Glenn Frey, Don Henley, Bernie Leadon, and Randy Meisner, the Eagles racked up five number one singles, six number one albums, and six Grammy Awards. Their debut album, Eagles, was released in 1971 and had two top 20 singles, Take It Easy and Witchy Woman. However, it is their iconic 1976 album Hotel California that is their best known and sold more than 26 million albums in the U.S. Every band has a peak, and that was ours, Don Henley told Rolling Stone in 2016. In that same interview Henley spoke about the themes in the band's music and defined it as the loss of innocence, the cost of naivete, the perils of fame, of excess, exploration of the dark underbelly of the American dream, idealism realized and idealism thwarted, illusion versus reality, the difficulties of balancing loving relationships and work. He continued, trying to square the conflicting relationship between business and art, the corruption in politics, the fading away of the 60s dream of peace, love and understanding. The band has only released the first handful of dates for their tour, including New York City on September 7, Boston on September 11, Denver on October 5, Atlanta on November 2, and St. Paul, Minnesota on November 17. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame members have played more than 1,000 concerts during their 52 years of touring. 
Their most recent tour, the Hotel California Tour, grossed $250 million from 90 shows, according to Polestar. Source, dailymail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.